Hello friends, welcome to the channel DigitalConnect.com. In this session, we will discuss an example how to move a div or an element inside any uh, parent div with the help of arrow key. That means if you uh, press the arrow up, down, left, and from that you can move an any element or div or something inside your HTML div or parent div. Okay. So how to control a div from arrow? Okay. So for that uh, we will see with an example. Okay. So let's suppose we have a parent div here and uh, this div I will give some name like uh, pen. Okay. And inside this we have a small element called uh, a small box okay so this box will be the basically the small size or you can see which will be able to move with the help of arrow key okay so now we will uh, uh, write some uh, css for this pen that is parent div okay and uh, for that i will just fix position to relative and uh, width uh, let's suppose we can set right now for px 300 px and uh, now height will be the 300 px let's suppose and uh, now we have some border so we can easily see the div area okay two pixel solid let's suppose red okay So now, if you save and run this, you have the parent div here. And now we will place some small div that is called box inside this, and we will help. Uh, sorry, we will test with the arrow key to move. Okay. So now we will give some CSS to this uh, box. Okay. So let's suppose. Position we will try take the absolute right now. Okay, and width let's suppose we have 20 pixel width and height as well 20 pixel. Okay, and then there is no border right now. We will just set the background color. Two. Okay, so now we will set the initial position. Let's suppose 140 pixel and the left as well 140 pixel. Okay, so it will be in center right now. Okay. Now our next aim is to move with the help of arrow. Okay. Okay. So what you have to do is next is to create a pen. Let's suppose pen equal to if you are using jQuery that okay and just try. What are you getting in pen? So that there is no jQuery for that uh, we will add some resources. So we will add some CDN of
okay so now it will check it save and run clear control sorry okay so now you are getting the object of this ten div okay now what we will do we will create the similar object for box as well okay box and we will have here box okay now we will have a width here okay so what will be the initial width it will be the pen dot width minus box dot width this will be required in our next algorithm okay and we will have some integration here right now we will use it later and uh, we will have a step a step size okay here as x so let's suppose we will write some three value so that uh, when you click the arrow it will uh, shift with three pixels if you increase the pixel then it do the pass int okay and uh, the value will be there and we will do the additional and now we will have Okay, so now we will have here, we will use the value D here, which we have used as an integration here, and here you will have D, and you will take out the value with the help of A here, and if it is true, then you will return the value at that means the step otherwise you will not move this okay similarly for is it for left it will be the for right if you will pass the left right then you will have b here and uh, you will have x then this one okay now return n if n is less than zero then you will have to return zero otherwise if and it greater than width, whatever the width we have taken out from here, then you will have to return width only. Otherwise, you will return m. That means new value. Okay. Okay. So now our function is ready. Okay. The next step is now to add the key event. Okay. On Windows. 
So with the help of jQuery, we, what we will do, we will use window and we will bind the key down and we will have function here. key element and uh, here we will set e dot which that means the key number is equal to true so that we will get it here as true at false okay so if someone will press any key then it will write here the value and it will set the true okay similarly you will have key up here and this will be value false so after releasing the key you will set the false okay now now you will keep the watch on the key, key up and key down on any key press you will keep the watch so how can you keep the watch so you will have an interval Okay, and in this interval, you will have a function, and this interval x suppose will be hard triggered at every 20 millisecond. Okay, so it will check the events. Okay, so now you will have here to set, you will have to set the box here, like a box position. Okay. So the, with the help of jQuery, we will set the left. And here you will have. Function. You will get here the value. And it will return new value. This is the new value we are calling here and with the value and the key value that is left for left we will have 37 and for right we will have 39 okay similarly you will set the top turn this this and you will have here 38 and 40. so now you will have a regular trigger here Let's check what is happening here. Okay. So you can see our box is moving left, right, down. Okay. That means in any direction you can easily move with the help of arrow. Okay. Okay, so you can see that uh, on any click of uh, arrow, you can see that uh, the number of pixel it is uh, placing. Okay, so if you will increase the this three, if you will increase with hundred, so it will move with the hundred. See, you can see on 100 it is just moving fast okay so what because our time interval is 20 seconds if you will reduce it with uh, 30 see what will happen see it's moving with more pixels only one single click okay so this is the example how can you easily move in any element okay with the help of jquery here and with some css okay you can easily create this so in summary we had just created an interval it will keep watch on the each and every key press 
and uh, it will set this 37, 39 as left right key and 38, 40. So it will be here. It will come here. OK, it will uh, convert the value with pass the value and it will check with the, whether the key is true or not. If the key is true, then it will move accordingly. OK, so this is the simple example. OK, thanks for watching this video. Uh, we will uh, come with another such type videos and like this video subscribe our channel okay thanks for watching